In today's video, I'm going to show you how to unlock undervolting in just about any laptop with an Intel CPU, even with a locked BIOS. So, I have made this video in the past. Uh, it was initially how to undervolt the Dell G15 with a locked BIOS. What I have learned since then is that this works on MSI, this works on Asus, this works on Lenovo. Any laptop with an Intel CPU, this method is going to work. Um, you can go through the comments here. Uh, I've got about a thousand, about 90%, 90 to 95% of the people that have been commented here have been able to unlock undervolting and reduce the temperatures. Um, it does work most, uh, best with uh, f like the H series processor, so it's five digits followed by H. I'd say it's about 90 to 95 percent effective and it's going to work on that processor. If you've got a, a processor with four digits followed by G5 or G7, um, it's 50 percent effective on there. So try it out, you should be able to unlock undervolting. And then just the last little caveat, unfortunately this doesn't unlock undervolting in 12th generation. 12th generation does have a different architecture. Uh, i.e. The, the E and the P cores so unfortunately it doesn't unlock undervolting for 12th generation but what it does do for 12th generation if you go into FRBR you follow this method you are going to be able to unlock turbo ratio limits but for 12th generation it's not going to unlock adjustable voltage just the turbo ratio limits and trust me that's good enough because by adjusting these figures slightly you'll be able to get a nice temperature reduction on 12th generation as well so the first thing that you're going to need to do is in the description of the video i'm going to give you a link to my google drive and it's going to take you to this folder over here how to undervolt the dial g15 files so go ahead and download everything in this folder so the c plus plus DX web support, grab boot setup text, grab x64, our IRF extractor, the screenshot, the UFI tool, and the universal BIOS backup toolkit. So first and foremost, um, you might get an error message when you want to download this file over here, or you might actually not be able to click on the link. You're going to have to switch off your antivirus to do that because a lot of antivirus actually pick up the universal bias backup toolkit as virus reason for that is no it's not dodgy it's because you're going to be altering your bias files so your antivirus anything that alters your bias your antivirus is going to scan as a virus trust me guys it's not a virus you can go ahead and download this just click yes you know, trust the file it's all good because you're going to need this file over here to find out your CFG and your overclocking lock so that you can change the value from zero times one, which is the lock is on, to zero times zero where the lock is off. So you just go ahead and download all these files. And then once you've downloaded all those files from your download folder, put them in a new folder like this and you can call the new folder how to undervolt any laptop so what you're going to need in that folder is the c++ installer the dx web setup the grab boot setup grab x64.efi rf extractor underscore 0 0.3 screenshot uv tool and your universal bias backup toolkit right once you have all those files and folders downloaded uh, for people with the 10th generation or 11th generation CPU, you can skip all these steps until where you have to create your bootable USB. Um, because I'll show you. Um, so, all these steps over here, you're doing this so that you can find your overclocking lock, and you're doing this so you can find your CFG lock. Now, for 10th generation and 11th generation, the overclocking lock and the CFG lock is standard. So for 10th generation, your overclocking lock is 0xDA and your CFG lock is 0 times 3 e For 11th generation, your overclocking lock is 0 times df and your CFG lock is 0 times 43 so that's why I'm saying for 10th generation, 11th generation, you guys can skip all these steps because I've got your figures for you right over here. So skip 
in the video where it says create bootable USB. Right, and then for the people with the 9th generation CPU and older and 12th generation, I'm going to take you through the steps how to find your overclocking lock and how to find your CFG lock. So strap in, get ready, let's go. Right guys, that's going to bring us to our first step. So first and foremost, just right click on your desktop, go to new folder, just call it dump. Okay, drag this underneath that folder. We've downloaded all those folders or all those files to just open that up, extract the universal bias backup toolkit to the desktop, close this off, close this off. All right, and then what you're going to do is you're going to run as administrator, just press OK. And then first things first, just tick this little box over here and then custom corresponds with the amount of RAM that you have on your system. So I've got 16 gigs, so I'm going to select 16384. I've got 8 gigs, that's 8192K. 4 gigs, that's 4096K. If you've got 12 gigs or 32 gigs, what you do is, yeah, you see 1024K equals 1 megabyte. So if you've got 32 gigs, just times 32 by 1024, and then just write that number here, followed by capital K. If you've got 12 gigs, just put 12 times 1024 and then to, yet again just followed by K. But anyways guys I've got 16 gigs so I'm going to select that and then I'm going to select read and then this is going to take in about 45 seconds or so. So in the meantime I'll talk chunk just to finish that. To all of you watching this video and following this process it's the 1st of January 2023. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, I hope you have the kick-ass year. And now as you can see, this process is almost done. So we'll just wait it out quickly. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, select OK. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make a backup. So you see where this is highlighted, just select right on the side here. And then whatever, if you've got an Asus X4 or a blah, 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 whatever, whatever your computer's name is, mine's a Dell G15. I'm just going to put the Dell G15. And then just make sure that that little hyphen is straight after what you name your, your uh, computer, followed by the .rom. And then you're going to be saving this on your desktop in the dump folder and then just click save save bias finish press ok you can exit this program and then in your dump folder you'll see you've got your newly created dell g15 or whatever for you uh, iphone dot rom file so that's great that's step number one and then what you can do is you can delete this all right guys that's going to bring us to step number two so that folder with all the files you downloaded, just open that up again, find Eufy tool, right click it, run as administrator, it's going to start minimize like this for you, just go ahead and maximize it, go to file, open image file, desktop, go to that dump folder, right click that image file you just created, okay, and it's going to give you this a yellow line with the Eufy image, select that. Go to action, go to search, select text, and then be certain to spell this correctly. Type in overclocking. Okay, select OK. And then over here, what I want you to do, it might not give you all as many options as me, whatever the case may be, just select Unicode text overclocking, select the first option. So I'm just going to drag this up. Select the first option and then you can just double click that and then it's going to open up this menu like this. So I want you to find, don't worry about all these numbers here, just highlight the line that where it says setup. So it's going to be set up and it's going to correspond with DXE driver. So what I want you to do is right click that and go to extract as is. So just to confirm guys. Subtype is going to be DXE driver 
and it's also it's going to be next to setup so on dxe driver right click it say extract as is and then what i want you to do is i want you to distract it to or extract it to that dump folder so just go ahead and click save and then you're done with this so just close it off so just confirm in the dump folder now we have a file underscore dxe driver blah 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 blah, blah. only thing is now the file dxe driver it's a ffs file so we can't read it so for the next step what we're going to do is just close this off go to the folder with all the downloads and then what i want you to do is right click on if extractor just extract that to the desktop okay close this off and then in irf extractor just double click that run as administrator irf extractor okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to select these three little dots over here and what we're going to do is go to desktop we're going to select that file dxe driver the ffs file in your dump folder so i want you to select that select open and then it's going to give you a green message just saying protocol ufi so just go ahead and select extract and then say it and then it's going to say I ifr extracted successfully just close that off close this off close this off go to your dump folder and now you, what you're going to see is this this ffs file we've just extracted it and converted it to a text document so that means you're successful so that's going to bring us to our next step but first and foremost what you can do is you can just go ahead and delete this right so for the next step what you're going to do is you're going to go to your dump folder and then that file that ffs file that we've just converted to a text document just go ahead and double click that and just drag this to the middle and then just maximize it and then file what we're going to do is we're going to select find and then what you want to do is type in overclocking overclocking lock and just make sure to spell that correctly find next okay so you can close that off so the two important values that we're looking to find and i've got this for 10th and 11th gen already so this is specifically for 9th generation older and for 12th generation so the two figures that that unlock undervolting for you is your cfg lock and your overclocking lock so the values that are of of interest to you so for my cfg lock and my overclocking lock you'll see it will say cfg lock or overclocking lock comma var store info and in brackets var offset slash var name close uh, close black uh, bracket double colon so it's that first number that comes after var name corresponding with overclocking lock so my overclocking lock for this 10th generation is a zero times xda for ninth generation obviously your number is going to be different so just go ahead and that first number after var offset var name that's going to be your overclocking lock and then same for cfg lock it's going to be cfg lock fast or info in brackets var offset slash var name bracket colon and then that first number after var name that's going to be your cfg lock so guys the reason we're doing this is because your cfg lock and your overclocking lock by default it's enabled so enabled is times one and that means that it's locked you can't undervolt so what we want to do for the cfg lock and for the overclocking lock we want to change that this overclocking lock and we want to change this the cfg lock from zero times one on to zero times zero off that means that there's no more lock on our cpu and now we can undervolt our laptop so guys what i'm gonna need you to do is just minimize this and don't be scared uh for the ninth generation sometimes there's no overclocking lock there's just a cfg lock um, or there's no cfg lock there's just an overclocking lock 
so if you've only got one of those two values that's fine just go ahead and and follow this video with that one value so what you're going to do is take down create a little new little uh, text document over here so for your overclocking lock just uh, that number corresponding after var name just just highlight this press copy and in that new text document just paste that and just save it as your overclocking lock okay and then what you do is go back to this folder and then look for your cfg lock the first number of the var name which is zero times three e for me it's going to be different for your ninth generation older cpu but it's that first number of the var name corresponding with cfg lock so just go ahead and highlight that number and just copy that and then just save it over here and then just put your cfg lock so you know Okay, so now at least you know what your overclocking lock is and you know what your CFG lock is. And then you can close this off. And guys, don't worry, now the tutorial becomes very simple from your own arts. Guys, for this step, what you're gonna be doing is creating a bootable USB formatted in FAT32. So at the start of the video, I said that um, 10th and 11th generation CPU owners can skip to this step so welcome back so guys what I'm gonna need you to do is if you have a flash drive between 1 gig and 32 gig if it's bigger than 32 gig it's not gonna format into FAT32 there is a workaround but if you if you got problems with that hit me up in the comment section so just go ahead and plug in your USB flash drive select a file a file explorer and then whatever your flash drive is just right click on your flash drive select format select fat32 go okay, and then name this overclock or whatever you want and then go ahead and start your format boom okay once the format is done what i want you to do is double click your flash drive and then the first folder you're going to create a new folder and in big caps you're gonna write EFI okay and then you're gonna double click that and in the EFI folder you're gonna create a new folder and you're just gonna call this capital B double O T so boot like that and then just double click into that folder okay move this over here and then all the files that you downloaded initially just go to that folder okay and then the grab x64.efr just drag that into your boot folder okay you can close this off and then what you're gonna do so this is your your formatted usb it's got the efr folder and that it's got the boot folder and in the boot folder it's got the grab x64.efr so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna highlight grab and then you're gonna call it boot so now it's so it's going to say boot x64.efi fantastic now we can boot into our grab oh gnu grab menu and enter the command line to change our overclocking lock from on to off so that's going to bring us to the next step all right guys and pretty much for our last step what what i need you to do is go to all those files that you downloaded and then go to the grab boot setup and what i want you to do yeah is if you got 10th generation take a photo of this or if you got 10th generation take a photo of this because you're going to be entering this into your gnu grab menu unfortunately i can't record booting into the gnu grab menu so what you're going to do is you're going to boot into the gnu grab menu for 10th generation what you're going to do is you're going to type nothing else you're just going to type setup underscore var space capital c p u capital s e t u p so it's cpu setup with c capital s capital and then your overclocking lock 
zero times zero because we're going to be switching off the overclocking lock press enter it's going to say successfully opened cpu setup offset is zero xda zero times zero zero writing zero times zero zero to offset zero xda and then for your cfg lock what you're going to do is you're going to type setup underscore var space capital c p u capital s e t u p zero times three e space zero times zero press enter it's going to say successfully open cpu setup offset zero x three e is zero times zero so it means that your overclocking lock is now off and your cfg lock is off so now you can just restart your system you can go into throttle stop and you'll see that let me just show you uh, you're going to see uh, once you go into FIVR, unlock adjustable voltage is not going to be grayed out anymore and you're going to be able to unlock or uh, undervolt your CPU to your heart's content. So guys, uh, the same thing applies for limit generation. Just take, a, just take a photo of this and all I want you to do is type in setup underscore VAR CPU setup space 0xdf 0 times 0 press enter and then what I want you to do is type setup underscore VAR CPU setup space zero times 43 space zero times zero because we're switching off our overclocking lock we're switching off our CFG lock and yet again I want you to restart your computer and then you'll see that under under faulting has been unlocked in throttle stop so that's for 10th generation that's for 11th generation if you have a 12th generation CPU, what I want you to do is follow this step, these steps exactly, but your overclocking lock is going to be different, so just substitute your overclocking lock for, uh, for, the, uh, for this figure over here, substitute your CFG lock for this figure over here, follow those steps, um, input this, input that, restart your system, and you're going to see that turbo ratio limits have been unlocked. Now there is a slight difference for 9th generation older CPUs, instead of typing CPU setup, that only works in 10th and 11th generation and 12th generation. For 9th generation older, it's the same principle, but you're going to put in setup underscore VAR and instead of CPU setup, now you're just going to put in setup with a capital S, put in your overclocking lock and um, then write zero times zero press enter and then same thing setup underscore var space capital s setup put in your cfg lock zero times zero press enter restart your computer and uh, undervolting should be unlocked in throttle stop if you do run into hangups with zero times zero put in zero times zero zero some, uh, for some people, zero times zero is fine. For other people, they have to put in zero times zero zero. But yeah, guys, so just go ahead and take a photo of this. So if you got the 10th generation, take a photo of this. If you've got 11th generation, take a photo of this. And then if you've got a 9th generation, take a photo of this. And then just substitute in your CFG lock and your, your overclocking lock before the zero times zero. So what I'm going to need you to do, guys, now that you've taken those photos, what I'm going to need you to do is reboot your system, go into your BIOS, and and switch off um, the, the secure boot. Make sure that secure boot is switched off. Once secure boot is switched off, boot back into your system, <laughs> go into Google, and then just whatever if you got a sus if you got a if you got an acer if you got a dowel just just type in here how to boot into once off menu and you for dowel it's going to be you restart your system and then once your logo starts showing you just tap f2 or f12 and that's going to boot you into your your once off boot menu and then you uh, 
but instead of booting to the one sort boot menu because you have that flash drive that we created it's going to boot you into your gnu grub menu so let's just put your acer so if you have an acer computer same thing you're going to restart your system make sure your flash drive is plugged in tap f12 and that's going to boot you to your gnu grub menu and then what you do is you put in your uh, those commands for this cfg lock and for the uh, overclocking lock if you have a msi computer what you do is you restart your system as soon as the msi logo shows you start hitting F f11 that's going to boot you into your one sort boot menu but because you have the flash drive with that special boot x efr that's going to send you to the the gnu grab menu and then you enter those commands and it goes the list goes on if you got a lenovo what you're going to do is function f12 as soon as the logo appears if you got a sus it's a sus okay so just find out which the keys you have to tap to get your one sort boot menu because that once you have the flash drive installed or insert it into your computer and the logo comes on and you and you tap the f12 or f8 or f2 to go to your one sort boot menu it's going to boot you into the gnu grub and remember guys For 10th generation, this is what you're going to put in. For 11th generation, this is what you're going to put in. For 9th generation, same thing, but instead of CPU setup, you're just going to use setup, and you're going to put in your CFG and your overclocking lock, zero times zero, zero times zero. So guys, that is how you unlock undervolting any laptop with a lock bias. If you do have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like, like button. Have a freaking awesome start to 2023. And guys, let's drop our temperatures, let's get more performance, and let's enjoy our laptops for the rest of the year. Thank you so much for watching. It's people like you. Cheers.